This is a WordPress web design in which we have an animation on the home page, and that animation is a plugin we used called Revolution Slider. So when we go into the back end of the website, there's a thing here that says sliders. We didn't use that. We used the one over here called Revolution Slider. So there's two parts to this. I could edit the slider or I could edit the slides. They're two different things. Edit the slider would be where I change the functions of the animation. For example, 5,000 means five seconds between each image. If I change that to 3,000, it means three seconds between each image. I'm not gonna change that at all. I'm just gonna go over here to edit slides because that's what we would do most of the time. So maybe I would decide we don't want this one anymore. If I don't want it, I just click the delete button. Of course, if I click, if I click on delete just to see what happens, what happens is that picture will disappear and it's, there's no undo button. So don't click anything unless you really mean to delete it. Now, if I wanted to add a new slide, I click new slide and then it becomes very simple. This is my media library, which is full of pictures. So I'd go to upload files and I'd click here to select a picture from my computer. And that's how we would add a new picture to the, to the um, revolution slider. It just needs to be in the proper size. And if I go to edit slide here, I'll see <clears throat> what size it's supposed to be. Um, well, let's see. Maybe it doesn't say right there, but I can right click on it, get a view background image. There it is, there's the background image. Now view image info, did that by right clicking. So there's, there's the size, it's 1508 pixels by 417 pixels. So if I use that size, I can add new images at any time.